y'all i cannot believe how fast 12 weeks have went by and we are almost halfway through the 26 week five thousand dollar savings challenge and in this video we're gonna count the money to see how much have we saved within the 12 weeks and just you know overall how are things going within the savings challenge drop a money bag emoji in the comments if you are in the savings challenge or are you just saving money in general let's get into it Hey everybody, I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group where we believe small changes can create big results. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We talk about credit, budgeting, and student loans. Y'all, I cannot believe that we are 12 weeks in to the savings challenge and the money is stacking up pretty quickly. And we are almost there to the $5,000 savings challenge. But you guys know that we're not just gonna be saving $5,000 for six months we gonna really be saving ten thousand dollars for the whole year but you know we want to start with six months first and then we're gonna keep on going but i am so excited and in today's video we're gonna count up the money to see how far we've gotten you know has it been easy i'm not gonna say that it's just been totally easy doing a savings challenge but as the 12 weeks has you know progressed it does get a little bit better I can tell you in the first month, it was kind of tough because I was doing the savings challenge, plus I was still trying to pay down debt and pay my car off. But what I did, I ended up just changing up my strategy a little bit. And that's why I really want to kind of go back and see how things are going because sometimes you do have to change your strategy a little bit when you are doing any goal that you have. And so what I did was, opposed to me trying to save money and pay down debt at the same time my car what i did was i just started and i went into my portal for my navy federal uh, credit union when i was paying off my car and i was just seeing okay how much interest am i paying on the car every month and so i ended up just making those payments opposed to trying to make larger payments on it and then that was taking money away from the savings challenge and that's how i was able to kind of almost do one thing at a time opposed to doing multiple things and it was just getting me kind of you know crazy and so that's how i ended up making some slight changes on my savings challenge but you guys will have to let me know how your savings challenge has been going and i hope that it's going good and that you're staying on track but i can tell you <laughs> for weeks 13 going forward i'm not going to be pulling the money out of my checking account anymore i'm going to be it's going to be virtual so i'm going to deposit the money into my checking account and i'm not well i'm going to put it into my savings account and then I'm not gonna take the money out every month because y'all, the other day when I had went to the ATM through Bank of America to deposit some money, don't you know that the ATM had let me get all the way through and then it like shut down and it gave me my card back, but it didn't give me the snip to let me know how much money I had deposited. And it was like $340 that I was depositing into my checking account. And I was like, oh my gosh. And so I had to call Bank of America up and I'm just like, uh, the bank, the ATM, it just shut down. And so I was on the phone with them for a little bit. So I'm just like, I'm not going to be doing that. And plus, since I really bank with Navy Federal, when I take the money out from them, I mean, it is a surcharge, but they do pay, I think, up to $10 a month back to you. But I'm just like, that's just too much. So I'm not going to be pulling the money out. So after we count the money this time, I'm not gonna be pulling the money out anymore, but I can tell you, it did get me a little excited like the first time that I counted the money because it really made me feel accomplished to let me know that, wow, I actually was saving the money. <laughs> but when I was telling my sister, and when she was watching the video, she was just like, well, like looking at your bank account, it doesn't make you happy that saving it. I was just like, well, I don't know. Having the money in my hand and then me counting it it really gets me excited that I actually saved this amount of money. Cause you know, when you're just swiping your debit card or swiping the credit card, I don't know. It's like, do you still kind of have the same connection to it compared to when you use cash? And so that's why I actually like pulling the money out, but I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. <laughs> so after this time, so this is going to be the last time that we actually count the money and then going forward, 
it's all gonna be virtual but drop down in the comments let me know how do you guys do your savings challenge are you just you know putting in envelopes are you doing it virtually in your checking or savings account you know help me to let me figure out how it'll be easier for me but I actually think that I'm just gonna do it virtually from now so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to my desk and we're gonna count the money out all right let's go okay now we're over to my desk and we have month one and month two and now we're gonna be counting month three so for the first month we got one two three four and so actually saved a total of seven hundred and twenty five dollars and for month two five six seven eight actually saved a total of seven hundred and eighty dollars and now we're gonna get into month three so for the month of march and so now i have my week nine and i saved uh 240 dollars which was actually an additional 15 dollars so 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 40 so that's 240 for week nine then week 10 saved 200 dollars 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 that's week 10. Week 11 saved $180. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80. And last but not least, week 12. And so for week 12, save $200. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. So now we have month one, month two, month three. So in total, I have saved $2,325 for 12 weeks. And now we're going to be transitioning into week 13. So how exciting is that? And then that means we're going to be halfway through. Yay! Give yourselves a round of applause for no matter how much money that you have saved within the 12 weeks, you know, small changes can create big results. So we just got to keep on going and hold each other accountable and go over to my Instagram page, the Major Change Group, and I like to put updates over there too. Y'all, I'm so excited. We're moving into week 13, y'all halfway there. And so for week 13, we're gonna be saving $190. Yay! But you'll have to check out my last video where I was talking about for the month of April, I'm gonna be getting paid three times because there's five weeks in the month for April. But then also in October, I'll get paid three times as well. So you know what we like to do on this channel? We like to plan ahead. So for the month of April, I'm going to try to save a little bit more. Or I might even put the money down, an extra payment on my car. But you will have to um, come back and see what I do with it on my April budget. I think I'm going to talk about it on my April budget. But you can always drop down in the description and get my free budget and debt repayment worksheet. Or you can go over to my Etsy shop and get my 2021 digital budget planner. Y'all, let's hold each other accountable. Let's budget our money. Let's pay our debt down. Let's do our savings challenge. We can do this. We rock. All right, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified when new content comes out. And until next time. It's not a game, it's a